Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology. And you're watching this video because you want to attain this upcoming CSR NET exam. You know, it's a good news for all the aspirants as well as uh, for all the coaching institutions that the CSI net exam is back on track because for a long period of time there is always a dilemma whether the June net is going to be conducted or not, the December net is going to be conducted or not. So this video is not about any particular topic, it's about many important things, many speculations that the students are making many uh, news uh, that are coming from the websites and news portals and all these places so i'm going to talk about in a general sense what is true what is not true and you should watch this video before go going to attain this year's net exam so stay tuned The very first thing is that uh, the exam which is conducting right now in this November, you know, 3-4 days left. Here in this time, this exam is officially the June 2020 NET exam which was postponed due to the COVID outbreak. Now that exam is being conducted in the November. Now the good thing about this is that the trains are open in most of the places so you like students can go there directly to attend the exam the transport problem is solved it's no longer there. Now the second thing is that a big problem a big uh, worry for those who are preparing for December exam because the coaching institutions they always have this six month or nine month duration courses so generally the course end in uh, June or end in December so uh, they have a problem in finishing up this course for example in our cases the course supposed to be finished in the December for the December candidates so what we need to do we need to uh, rush it up we need to take extra classes to cover at least the syllabus for like before this June 21st or that time so that they can go and attain the exam. So this is one uh, problem out there but the thing is what you need to know before going into the exam hall is that go out of fear because you know if you fear many students are fearful still about this COVID-19 outbreak and they are still thinking about look since now it's it's no longer a 19 or things you know from 19 it's, it's 20 almost end of the 20 it will be 21 and uh, God knows what's going to happen in the future times and what's going to be there. So the thing is uh, right now the situation is uh, the same okay almost the same. Uh, so you don't need to bother about uh, like uh, how many cases are there per day or all these things just go there because it's your day it's very important day for your career you need to make a mark and go there. Now uh, the things that I'm going to talk about is just the speculation the speculation number one is that uh, the questions are going to be difficult you know why this uh, speculation arises because people are thinking that uh, there are many uh, you know other exams uh, are already conducted that the, the DBT GRF like the BET biotechnology eligibility test the the cutoff is really high the reason cutoff was high uh, is because uh, most of the people most of the students scored quite uh, good quite better score that's why the cutoff is high so it's nothing to speculate like the cutoff will be higher for NET the exam will be difficult for the NET or all these things now what is going to be a reality what I can predict is that a less number of people are going to attend the exam even after filling up the form because people fill the form so early and nowadays a one month time if you give someone one month time who is uh, not uh, confident about his own career then that person forgets about all these things within uh, like even a week or two weeks people forget about many things so many people even forget about their uh, these passwords so uh, almost every single day I receive a mail or a SMS like uh, I forgot my password, how can I retrieve it, I cannot download my admit card and all these things. So this idea, this sense that this time exam is going to be difficult, this time there is a COVID outbreak, thinking of this very less people, I think comparatively less number of people are going to attain this exam and if the less number of people is going to attain the exam and government is going to give you the same number of candidates almost like 10% less or so uh, the fellowship then there's a good chance the cutoff will be low and there's a good chance that a person can qualify with less marks okay so you should attain this exam okay because you may get a GRF in 104 102 something like this or even in 100 marks compared to the previous years previous few net exams it's not like you know for for a long nine months there is no net exam so people are eager to get the exam no i, I think it's uh, going to be the other way around the psychology of students is going to be the other way around because they are thinking of different stuffs apart from net exam that time 
so this is uh, one thing now the second thing uh, that i uh, want to talk about is regarding uh, the the chapters because many people are asking me regarding uh, which topics are important make uh, the most important topic videos you know there is no differences in terms of the topics which are important when i made the topic list video i analyzed 10 years of papers or something so the question levels are similar so it's not going to be changed every single years before the net exam they are going to be the same okay so almost same they're nothing change nothing new but what i think is going to be incorporated in further net exam in the future times are few units for example unit number four which carries uh, the host pathogen interaction which carries the epidemiology which carries the topics like immune system now this particular chapter is going to be kind of a hot uh, cake for the upcoming net exam or can be a hot cake for this net exam question paper as well we need to check the weightage of unit 4 unit 7 in this net exam and i think it's going to be a little bit uh, more for the net uh, next next net exam not this one but the next uh, which probably is going to be conducted on the june 2021 okay hopefully in the correct time so why the reason is that because by that time you know we are going through the trials the, the clinical trials so if you're from a biotechnology background or a pharmacovigilance course you have if you have done that you have done clinical trial course you know about this otherwise read about this because these are the some uh, some things these are some contemporary things that the csr is going to ask question about a little bit more in the upcoming times they are going to ask you a question regarding the vaccination processes uh, so question from vaccination you can expect question from uh, the human uh, whole immune system regarding the plasma donor recipient policies uh, and this whole thing regarding the covid epidemiology like what is sporadic what is epidemic what is pandemic and how you classify all these things like, like that so those things along with that human physiology how the human physiology works like the respiratory system and how it's fighting against the bacteria and viruses this is really important so host pathogen interaction in that term is going to be important in the upcoming net exam kind of i think the reason is that because always if you study the csn question paper the human immune uh, system the immunology part and the, the techniques part in unit 13 these portions carry a significant portion of question from contemporary research papers okay so the modern research papers that are going to come up okay regarding the covid 19 regarding anything related to the covid 19 uh, regarding the vaccination regarding the trial and all these things they are going to give you a question from this portion so almost like five to seven eight ten percent of the question that you can expect from this zone is going to come so if you prepare yourself ahead of this exam then it's going to help you and not only it's going to help you for the csi net exam but if you are preparing for icmr grf as well as after the csi net exam or you are going to appear for any institutional exam uh, for uh, for phd or any institutional uh, interview in the panel interview they are going to also ask you question regarding the contemporary research topics and these are the contemporary research topics so you want to talk to them regarding this contemporary research topics it's very very important at that time so keep this thing in your mind and the last thing i'm going to talk about is the december net exam many people are asking me all the time when the december net exam is going to be conducted now i am not a person who already know about this nobody knows about that right now but the thing is the december net exam as far logically i can think that obviously they are not going to be a, dis a December net exam in the December month because there is an exam in the November 21st so at the end of the November so they are not going to conduct any exam in the December because they need one month prior uh, before uh, the exam you know for making up all the questions and all they need three four months and one month prior for the admit card to deliver and all these things so obviously they are not going to conduct an exam in the December itself so what are the probability what are the chances chance number one is that they can conduct december net exam and it will be conducted somewhere like february uh, march that time that period of time it may be a possibility but i think it's of a less of a possibility they can snub this exam totally that's the second possibility that, that they will snub the exam december net exam the december per se net exam and they are going to conduct one exam that is june 2021 net exam uh, and in that net exam uh, you are going to see more of a question uh, of this contemporary research topics that I told you. So this is the overall idea I believe is going to happen. So while you are decided not to go, please cancel that go for this net exam. It's going to be good and I believe if less people show up, 
and uh, government is going to government is not going to cut uh, the you know many people also speculate that they are going to cut the total number of seats for the GRM. I don't think it's going to be true because central government is announcing the post of bank officials and other things. So they are they are giving uh, salary to the people. It's not like government is in under the huge loss due to the closure of their biggest subsidiary that is the the Indian Rail. Okay, so even though it's it's down, it doesn't uh, matter like uh, it's going to be. Uh, block something like that so they are going to give you if the, even if they have a decrease a uh, 10% of the seats but still there's a high chance that you will qualify with less marks so definitely go for this net exam and be positive do not worry about it okay so maintain your self hygiene and all these things but go for the exam very all the best to all of you for the upcoming net exam thank you bye